Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Friday the 20th of August comes to you from London. And uh, we had big falls in energy markets yesterday. We see these big down candles. And what really matters now is can we hold these levels? Uh, so we'll come back and have a look at that. But first of all, let's look at the bigger picture of just what's going on across the the financial markets. And so we start by looking at uh, the dollar climbing higher, making new uh, highs there. So we're starting to see 12 month highs in the dollar upside targets activated. So that's uh, really significant, looking like the higher low and the higher high beginning of a turnaround for dollar, so dollar strength. That means the euro is weaker, sinking to uh, 12 month lows against the dollar, uh, back to levels that we saw um, well in the autumn last year. Uh, and looking at against the yen, uh, dollar is relatively flat uh, and sterling against that dollar is sitting at 136. So uh, really sinking uh, much lower there on the short term chart. So that's quite key. Against the euro, sterling sitting at 116.58, sinking lower there as well. Uh, Bitcoin sitting at $46,800, so a bit of recovery there. Uh, so that's looking better. And if you look at the S&P 500 index, uh, we're seeing here just a fall away as well. Uh, the futures are lower today, so uh, the sell-off continues really in US markets. Uh, we're seeing uh, the S&P future down 0.6%, the Nasdaq just down under half a percent. So we will see an, a lower opening in the US. And if we look at the VIX volatility, that's holding above this 20 level. So uh, the fear index is back on the short and medium term charts uh, in the 20s. So that's that's quite significant that we're just seeing markets looking more fearful. The FTSE future down 0.2% this morning, the DAX in Germany down 0.6%. And the CAC current down half percent. So we're just seeing falls across the board. Markets in Asia falling quite heavily. The Hang Seng down a further 2%. Remember that we had these big falls a, a, a few weeks ago in the Hang Seng. The fact that we're now nudging those levels and looking like we're going to fall lower, uh, that's really significant. And we're starting to see moves through the clouds. So Asian markets looking quite weak. Chinese market uh, down 1%. And again, just medium term bearish below the clouds. So that's not great news for um, Asian stocks. Uh, the Indian market normally quite resilient, but it's down half percent as well. Still do have a very big upside target, but uh, we are just seeing uh, a bit of a sell-off. The Aussie market holding up fairly well, actually. Uh, soft commodities are looking mixed. We've got wheat down very slightly. Corn uh, is up, but uh, again, medium-term bearish. Uh, and if we look at the gold, sitting at 1785, so that recovery is just stalling for breath the last few days, but uh, still holding bullish above the cloud on the short term. And the long term has held its bullish position above the cloud uh, as well. Silver has had a torrid time in the last few weeks. We're still short term bearish there. We can see the sell off uh, very much heading into a range on silver. So that's quite significant there. We see this this range is uh, really quite key. And that's what was an ascending triangle now for silver. We've got to wait for, watch for a break. 30 is the level that we've got to watch for. Uh, platinum is up, palladium is up, and US 10-year yield sitting steady at 1.24%, just teetering along the bottom there on this uh, support level. Looking at the energy mix now, uh, Brent crude had a big fall yesterday, um, much as we predicted. The lower low uh, has now kicked in, and we've got targets to as low as 57, 62, that's on the daily chart, on the 60 minute chart, 62, so we've got 13% lower, 6% lower, and then on the very short term one minute chart, we've got 2%, uh, 1.3% lower. If you're trading crude oil, you need these one minute charts. So that's really significant. We're wandering below the cloud on the daily. I normally like to say three days below the cloud on the lagging line, but uh, we'd need a massive recovery now to um, return that lagging line back to bullish. So it's uh, looking like a significant trend change. Uh, looking at uh, WTI, we've got targets there as well, 7% uh, lower uh, and 3% uh, lower. So it's looking like we're going lower. And the fact that we've just slightly lower after such a big day, down day yesterday, just tells us there's um, more gas in the tank for falls, if you like. Uh, MBP, uh, sorry, T, uh, US Nat Gas looking a little bit better at $3.90. 
uh, fairly resilient versus uh, the oil price, of course. Looking at gasoline prices, our Bob looking very bearish, very clear trend there and downside targets. Uh, coal was hit yesterday down some 5%. That's the biggest down day we've seen this year in coal. Uh, we're still bullish above the cloud on the short term chart. We had a downside target at 106 given to 102. That's where we've gone. That's on the one minute chart. Watch these on your OTC data, the one minute charts. Absolutely essential if you're trading coal. Emissions, we did a post on LinkedIn yesterday about emissions. Uh, big falls there. We're back into short term bearish territory. We have a downside target of 52.30. This was given the day before yesterday. Uh, and we had these other targets emerging. We do have a new recovery target, but a lot of resistance. So hard to give a lot of credence to that target whilst we're below the cloud on the 60 minute chart. We do have some long term targets that look encouraging, but basically the picture now for emissions is one of will we break this range? We've got now what's becoming a clear trading range for emissions, and that's where we're at at the moment. And until we break that range, we've just got to watch that. So keep an eye on that on your charts. We do have upside targets. Normally, you get a move into the pattern, a consolidation, and a move out. This would be more likely to be a move higher, having uh, taken time out. Uh, but we do need to just keep an eye on that and watch this cloud support as well. But for the moment, short term, it's hard to be uh, bullish on emissions. And interestingly, we don't have many targets on the 60 minute chart. Looking at the UK picture, uh, we fell away here yesterday as well, not looking as bearish, but we do have a downside target some 3% lower. Of course, we have a bit of a lack of data there. So that's quite significant. Uh, MVP, we fell below the cloud, we've, we've seen a lot of significance there. And uh, TTF, similarly, uh, that fall below the cloud, the volatility kicking in there, some new downside targets, some quite significant targets, some 30% lower. It needs to be remembered on uh, gas markets, we broke 30 and just really ran straight away into the 40s on uh, TTF. So um, we've had this massive move. Uh, so it's no big surprises that we start to see some of this unwinding. We're still bullish on the long term, but the, the, on the medium term chart, but the short term uh, picture is one interesting. And if you're trading uh, gas, keep an eye on these one minute point and figure targets. They're going to be your, your, uh, your guide over the coming days. And of course, uh, the same applies on the seasonal chart. And we are seeing downside targets there. Keep an eye on your OTC data. German power is up 1.35% this morning. That's a little bit of a recovery. We are bearish below the cloud as well. We do have mixed targets. Again, watch your OTC data. We're hitting uh, resistance there. We do have these downside targets hanging over us. Uh, so we're not out of the woods. The main thing is we hold the lows that we've seen uh, yesterday. And that's going to be quite key. Uh, the target suggests we we may not do that. Uh, and if we look at Nordic Power, we're up 3% on the cow this morning, looking a little bit better for a bounce there. And on the uh, quarterly contract, also just looking a little bit better for a bounce. So looking a little bit better uh, than the other power markets. But uh, for the moment, uh, we've just got to watch those, those moves. That's it for today. Until Monday, have a great weekend. Happy charting. See you then.